Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Morose and I'm the lead developer for Cool Button Designer from MRZ Media. So today I would like to introduce you to a Cool Button Designer version 7.0. Cool Button Designer version 7.0 is going to bring a new feature this feature will be so important for people who would like to create a better looking button and the feature will be to bring a, an image into your button so now with version 7.0 you can bring the text and image at the same time on your button it also supports the transparency so you can bring the PNG image on your button and have the background of that image transparent. Let me show you what I meant. After you install, uh, after you installed the Cool Button Designer version 7.0 or newer versions, you will have and you will run the application. You will end up with a screen like this. This is how Cool Button Designer version 7.0 starts. It has three options for you to choose from of three options of different rendering. It has the classic style button designer that was available only for um, cool button designer up to version 6 and those two others wasn't available uh, earlier than version 6. Right now, you have ability to select from three different options. And let's say I would like to go with the IRS style button designer. And those buttons, as you can see, look like um, Windows 7 uh, lookish buttons. And here's some preview for you, but it's not limited to those preview. Basically, you can create up to unlimited um, buttons, unlimited rendering buttons it's all depends to your creativity but software has the tools and the uh, options to tweak and make sure that every single button will look unique all right you can also import templates and the uh, import templates um, will give you ability to import your um, previous saved buttons and you can start um, just change and tweak them. Cool Button Designer version 7.0 allows you to save a template, which is cool thing. All right, so I'm gonna go with this option. I'm gonna click Next. As you can see, program so smart, and it already tells you what to do. And over here, uh, I have two options to go with: uh, uh, borderless or bordered. I'm gonna go bordered. And now I need to name my button and change the size, the size that I want. But keep in mind, the button name should be unique for every single button. Because when Cool Button Designer will print you the HTML code, it will include the single uh, unique name into your code. And if you will have more than one button on one web page created with Cool Button Designer, and every single button will have unique name you're not going to have any problems or issues what is going to be generated by cool button designer but if you will have the same button names and you have you will have let for instance three buttons on one web page created with cool button designer and they all will have the same name in the end when more uh, cool button designer will generate you the HTML code and you will embed that code on, on, on your web page you will end up with a problem that only first button will uh, work and the other is not going to animate so to uh, fix that problem please try to make sure that you're naming your button with unique names so today I'm gonna design the search button and I'm gonna uh, name it as a search okay and the size I would like to stick with 200 uh, 140 
and uh, 45. Uh, I would say 55, 50 uh, on the height. Here is my button, uh, default uh, rendering, where I can change the light, the refraction, um, the glow light, any single color on this rendering, border color, and um, I can adjust the way the refraction uh, going into the button, and uh, also I can uh, change the text, uh, tweak the text, like bring the some shadows and bed into the button. Also, I can include an image. This is the new features uh, that comes with the Cool Button Designer version 7.0 uh, and newer, where you can bring the image into your button and make it even uh, better looking button 6.0. And by the way, all the owners of the Cool Button Designer 6.0 or earlier versions will have this update for free. This is as a uh, this is a loyalty to our customers. Everybody who purchasing our software will have updates for free. All right, button shapes. Button shapes. It's where you can adjust the way your button gonna look like. You can click browse and select the template and select from the template how it's gonna look like. As you can see. The button is changing so whatever you clicking on um, some menus always try to make sure please uh, keep an eye on your button to see the way it's changing because it's changing in real time and uh, let's say I would like to make a button like this you can also adjust the corners as you can see over here and make it the way you want it also, you can bring uh, the edge uh, smoothing rendering to a button, so it's going to be like smoother looking button or sharper. It all depends to you. Also, there is like options like to the basic, uh, to the basic beveled, when it's going to be beveled and uh, engraved, and you can also adjust this little thing over here piece. But let's stick with the 2D, 2D basic button right now because this is the basic introduction to a cool button designer version 7.0. Alright, I can rename the button. Let's say if I uh, brought this button from a template instead of uh, start creating a new one and I just want to create a home, I can rename it and name it home. Keep in mind, every single button needs to have unique name. Thank you so much. Button resizer. You can see I can resize the button. It's now smaller. The way I want it. Just set your custom values. But I suggest you do not go uh, beyond 250 megapixels. Because larger than that, it will bring a little bit of distortion in pixels. Stay away, like, uh, keep lower than 400 pixels. Visual render. Visual render it's where you can adjust um, the rendering glossiness effect, like that refraction effect. Straight as it is right now by default, you can make it uh, curvy like this and uh, up to four different levels. And you can also adjust the smoothness, the way it appears on the button. I would like to keep it like that. I'm fine totally with that. Button texture. It's where you can adjust and bring some textures to a button um, so it's going to have some textures like as you can see over here an example but I'm not going to do so but to be able to bring the texture on the button you need to use um, button shape and select bevel button, engrave button or engrave beveled it doesn't work with 2D basic button let me show you what I meant if I'm gonna create like this, you can see I have that border around the button. And if I'm gonna bring a texture of metal, let's say, it's gonna cover that with a metal texture. And I can adjust the light texture exposure on it the way I want it. And um, basically to work on a texture. And I can clear it anytime I want it. But doesn't work with... 
since I'm gonna keep it as 2D, uh, 2D basic button I'm I don't need any textures and I'm fine button border this option uh, will give you full control over the border on the button and there is uh, multiple borders as you can see there is a white border and a blue border around the button and you can have fully control over that by adjusting the values like so and make it the way you want it to look like so play with that and try to learn it it's a cool feature and this is the third border that wasn't on the button uh, on a uh, button before all right and next light properties light properties can bring an extra light to your button to make it uh, to give you ability and tools to create more 3d looking button let me demonstrate to you if I'm gonna click enable light rendering I'm gonna have an extra light to my button and uh, I can play with the locations that will appear or I can set manually um, the locations like so and also I can change the color can make it yellow whatever the color of the light I want to uh, see over here so basically I can just play with that and the way I want it I can make it white looking as you can see and uh, yeah I can adjust and pretty much I can even uh, adjust the light as you can see the, the way uh, the size of the Alright, I can disable the light if I don't need to use it. Hyperlink. Hyperlink give you ability to add the hyperlink or URL page to your button. So if you're gonna click add link and type your website and then add link, it, it will go to that website when you're gonna click on that button. And it will print you the HTML code with uh, already code that will go to the website if you will embed that code like so and this is the website that's selling cool button designer and if you will buy from this website I guarantee you that your cool button designer will be 100% safe and clean and uh, right now it has the a uh, holiday discount of 9.99 instead of 14.99 which is the best value uh, you can ever get and as you can see cool button designer has some international awards from all those websites and uh, if you will click on those websites you will go to those websites and you can see that they stated so it's not like somebody made that banner it's just on their page there is some examples you can play with but not limited to and as you can see it can work on Windows 7 uh, 32-bit 64-bit a home premium home basic professional and ultimate version it can work on Vista home premium home basic uh, professional